Chris, I know you probably would have liked to get the finish out there tonight. You know, you had some moments, but uh, still a win's a win. I guess give us, give us uh, you know, the feel right now, your performance. Um, I feel like I performed very well. You know, I went out and I showed a lot of the things I wanted to show. Uh, wrestled a little bit, got got a couple takedowns, dropped them a couple times. Um. Overall, I, I, what, you know, what, without getting the finish, getting two 10-8 rounds is just, just as close. Yeah, it looked like you were trying to set up something spectacular through the night. I mean, were, you, were your coaches okay with that, or were um, they frustrated with they, it? Yeah, they, they, they know how I am. I'm, I'm, I'm flashy with my talking, flashing with the fighting. Um, but he, 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 like we, he's a local guy. We know of each other, so he's seen a lot of me. He, he defended the high kicks pretty, pretty well. Um, uh. Uh, he posted uh, about a month and a half ago about defending the flying knee. Notice I didn't even throw any. And uh, so I know he was waiting for that, too. I kind of was reading them. So uh, I, I didn't even fake any of them, too. So. Yeah. It does snap a losing streak for you, right? I mean, does, that, does it feel like, you know, kind of a much-needed result or take a, take a load off your shoulders? Uh, a big load. You know, the last time I won was in this building last year, or December 2018. So it, it's been a while. So just hearing uh, Curtis uh, that I won, that's, that's awesome. And I guess last thing for me, I mean, I guess you call your shot now, right? What's next? I mean, the uh, you, you're kind of, you know, had some choice words for MVP uh, earlier. I mean, what, what, what do you think I, makes sense for you? I still want that, man. It, 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 it's up to him. It's clearly up to him because everybody knows I want to fight, in, both in Bellator and him. Um, so, but, you know, I, I want exciting matchups. Uh, like I said, I was saying uh, in, during media day, Jackson, um, I wouldn't even mind uh, Ed Ruth. You know, I got to. I have to beat the kind of guys that have been my Achilles heel this throughout my career. That's the only way I'm going to get what I deserve. Curtis, you're obviously making your Bellator debut. It's still fighting in a cage, but in a new place. Does it feel like a new job when you fight for a new promotion, or is it just the same thing, just different level? Oh, it, it's still a fight. You know, it's uh, No matter where the organization, no matter who the ref is, no matter what it is, as long as I'm fighting, it's all going to be the same. Now, um, you know, we talked about it's the beginning of the year. You got the victory. I mean, in terms of just waking up this morning, were the nerves feeling good? Was there any excitement um, to just finally get things back on track? You know, I, w I felt good all day yesterday, all day today. It wasn't <clears throat> until about five minutes and before I left my the dressing room, and that's when I was like, I kind of went – went like cold and I, I made my coach hold me for me and I started getting nervous. I was like, I don't, I don't get nervous. I don't get shook. So, but I have to just pump back up a little bit. Curtis, this fight was at 180. I think we were talking about a 170 where you always competed. Are we looking at <clears throat> 170 exclusively or are you also thinking about 85? Um, I'm, I, 170 is home, but uh, actually, you know, I wouldn't mind fighting 85 like Joe Schilling. That's, that's, that's why I was stuck at, in this 80, 85 thing. I originally wanted to fight Joe Schilling. I thought I was going to fight him. So um, if I can get a Joe Schilling fight at 85, that would be fun. But 70 is where it's at. <clears throat> I ran into you at a grappling tournament a few months back. You're working your game. How much improved are you over, let's say, a couple years ago? How important is this? I'm way more improved. I, I almost had that dart, so I heard them, I heard them gargling a little bit. But it was a short time, and I just wanted to hold on a little bit. So um, I'm working. That's why I had that big smile on my face. If you guys see me get up after the second round, I had that big smile. Because it's like, yo, I've been working. And uh, – this is what I can do. Absolutely. Last question for me. You you face the highest level of competition out there. In the league. So you, I think, are <clears> someone <throat> that would be considered a top contender right now. Would you feel comfortable if they started throwing the best people at you right away, or did you want to get a little bit more acclimated here at Bellator? Uh, absolutely. I'll fight anybody. The only person I won't fight on this planet is my dad. So uh, unless it's my pops, fuck everybody. <laughs> and, all right, and it looks like your leg took a little bit of damage. Do you think it's real bad, or do you think that's going to be I, I'll be fine. Ice it a little bit, and that's from me kicking. I, I knew this is this is what I say all the time. I, I know I'm not going to be able to walk at my at my after party, yeah. so um, it, it's what I go through every fight. So it so is what it is. Turnaround could be March. Than a few months, March, months. yeah. I'm I'm looking to go through March. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks, Curtis. Thank you guys. Have a great night.